Also tonight, police arresting a 14 year old. In this video, you can see he's using a gun, killing three other teenagers in a convenience store. Another person also critically injured in that shooting. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Steve Pickett. This is CBS 11 News at 6. That shooting happened inside that gas station. This is at Walnut and 7th Street in Garland on Sunday. Nick Starling is live in Garland now with what police are now saying about this entire investigation. Nick. Steve, Garland police made one arrest and looking for another person in connection with these killings. Now the big question is why this all happened in the first place. Those victim ages are between 14 to 16 years old. Now many in this community are in shock. It's just, it's just heartbreaking. It's just horrible for it to happen any time of the year or day. Who would kill three teenagers is the question everyone is asking here. Connie Childress placed flowers outside the gas station Monday. These shootings, they, they've got to stop wherever they, this was so useless. Garland police released this surveillance video from outside the gas station where you can see the suspect walk towards the door and fire more than 20 rounds of bullets. The suspect then got into a passenger seat of the white truck and drove off. This investigation tough for police as they're dealing with the loss of teenagers right after Christmas. Support the families. I mean, a day after Christmas, they've lost their loved ones. And so I'll be meeting with the families and whatever we can do as a community to come together and support them. A bullet hit a teenage employee too. His boss got the call Sunday night. He called me, hey, come in quickly because uh, some guy is gonna be shooting, shooting to the store. Throughout the day, the gas station was closed, but we saw crews cleaning inside and while customers outside were in disbelief. I go often and uh, it's, just, it's just crazy how this happened. And I know I would never thought this would happen here, especially in this area. And I've got you know kids that come over here and play and there's, this, it's a family area. Tragedies like this, making parents like Trey Wilkerson holding their kids closer tonight. I'm sorry for your loss. It's no understanding it, it's, it's very, very sad, and I'm very sorry that y'all are having to deal with this right now, especially around this time of the season. Police are actively looking for another person of interest, the person on your screen right now. Police say that's a driver of that white truck. Police say they are all hands on deck trying to figure out what happened and who did this. If you have any information about these killings, you're urged to call the Garland Police Department. Reporting live in Garland, Nick Starling, CBS 11 News.